a command set point is sent to the mass flow controller to control the desired gas flow rate into the process chamber. A zero command set point is sent to the MFC, closing the MFC valve. Traditional MFC control valves are typically only rated to close down to less than 1% of full scale. The MFC and pneumatic isolation valves are now all closed. The process recipe is now complete and gas will not flow to the process chamber. With 40 PSIA between the upstream and downstream isolation valves, a gas leak by occurs across the MFC valve, causing unwanted pressure buildup at the downstream pneumatic isolation valve. Over time, the pressure reaches equilibrium across the MFC valve and the downstream pneumatic isolation valve. During the first process set point, the pneumatic isolation valves are open along with the MFC valve, and the trapped volume of gas flows to the process chamber. All valves open, and gas is flowing at a steady rate. The process ends and the MFC valve closes. In this condition, gas will again start to bleed through and charge the downstream volume. A command set point is sent to the MFC to control the desired gas flow rate going into the process chamber during this recipe step. A zero command set point is sent to the MFC, closing the MFC valve. The MFC valve and isolation valves are now all closed. The process recipe is now complete. With 40 PSIA between the upstream and downstream isolation valves, our zero leak by valve technology reduces cross seat leak by over 100x. During the first process set point, the pneumatic isolation valves are open along with the MFC valve, all valves open, and gas is flowing at a steady rate. The process ends and the MFC valve closes. The MFC and pneumatic isolation valves close, ending the process step. The MFC valve provides a near positive shutoff, preventing the buildup of excess process gas, affecting the start of the next process step.